Hi everyone, Joe for Jaspies CaseBreaks.com coming at you with a seven box 2020 Bowman Baseball Mixer Random Team Break number three. Featuring three hobby boxes, two jumbo boxes, and two sapphire boxes. Should be a lot of fun. We've been pulling some nice stuff out of here in general, so looking forward to this. Big thanks to all of these folks for getting to the action. We only had to do one mini break, which was great. So you won that in one of those jumbo pack breaks if you have the rooftop next to your name. So congrats to you. Chris Welty with the last spot mojo star next to his name. And there are the teams right here. Let's roll it. Let's randomize it. Six and a one, seven times for each list. One, two, three, four, five, six. And seventh and final time. After seven, we got Josh down to Ryan S. We got Bull Durham on in the background too, so appropriate for this break. Six and a one, seven times for the teams. Two, five, six. And seventh and final time. After seven, we've got the New York Metropolitans down to the Texas Rangers. Ooh, he's impeccable down to four. I'm down. There might be some filler breaks to do too, but make sure we get those accomplished as well. If you want to make that happen. All right. Josh with the Mets, Corey with the Rays, Mike with the Astros, Matthew with the Royals, nice. John with the Mariners, and Chris, last spot mojo, New York Yankees. Robert Z with the Snakes, Ryan S with the Padres, Robert P with the with the Do my Dodgers. Robert Z with the O's. Wade with the Twins, Oren with the Angels, Corey, Phillies, Nationals, Cardinals, Brandon with the Giants, Joe with the Reds, Brian with the Red Sox, Corey with the Marlins and White Sox, Greg with the Rockies, Brandon with the A's, Greg with the Braves, Andrew with the Blue Jays, Jeremy with the Brewers, Andrew with the Cubs, Matthew with the Indians, Conrad with the Pirates, John Samuelson with the Tigers, and Ryan S. with the Texas Rangers. All right, so let's sort this by column B. Let's box these up and center it up. And uh, I'm going to pause the video, allow for a little bit of trading time. When we come back, we'll see if there's any trades, then the break. All right, welcome back, everybody. No deals were done. It's all good. Right here on 7-Eleven. There you go. There's everybody right there. Let's get that right. So we'll do the three hobby boxes first. And then we'll do the th two jumbo boxes, and we'll obviously close with the high-end Sapphire Edition boxes. So it should be should be pretty nice. We got Bull Durham in the background, so a good baseball-appropriate movie for this baseball break. It's gonna take about an hour, so settle in. Favorite baseball movies. Go. I think Bull Durham for me is up there. Feel the dream, Bull Durham is up there. League of Their Own probably rounds out the top three in no particular order. Although taking the curse word out of Bull Durham kind of neuters it a little bit. Got to have that colorful language. Gilo, what's up? Sandlot for you. Corey, eight seconds? I don't, I'm not familiar with eight seconds. Brewsters, I haven't seen Brewsters Millions in a while. Durham, Durham Bulls. Is that still an affiliate for the Braves? Is their Braves double A AA or triple A?
All right, good luck. John Samson likes the uh, the natural. Remember, paper doesn't ship except for uh, Robert Poss and Jason Dominguez, Bobby Wood Jr., as always. A rodeo? Oh, uh, uh, baseball movies is what I was specifically getting at, Corey. Favorite baseball movies. The Natural. We, we watched The Natural on MLB Network last night. That's pretty good. Yeah, John Samuelson, Angels in the Outfield. Are you just naming baseball movies now? Or do you actually like those? Jordan Groshans Atomic are not numbered. Little Little Big League, I feel like, is underrated. There's a series Aristides Aquino, sixty six out of one fifty. Get a hit crash. Shut up. Baseball movies, Curtis. We're talking baseball movies. Oh yeah, Moneyball. That's a that's that's for real. Your favorite? Yeah, that's up there. That's pretty good. I need a container for this break. It's all the paper. I don't know. We'll remove all the paper over here for now. There's Adbert Alzale, 25. Is, is there really baseball? In Space Jam? I haven't seen that movie in years. Decades, maybe. Robert Pawson, Anthony Volope to two ninety nine. Ooh, what is this? A dual autograph, dual Bowman prospects autograph, four out of twenty five. Anthony Volope and Everson Pereira. Nice. That goes to Chris Welty and the Yankees. He got randomized the Yankees with last spot mojo. That's awesome. Next hobby box. Yeah, Bill Mosher, your favorite's Bull Durham. It's one of my favorites too. Yep, it's right here. Beginning MLB Network. Beginning of the movie. They're on the uh, the uh, batting cage scene. Yeah, I said Susan Sarandon. I think has aged incredibly well. Are her and Tim Robbins together in this movie? Are they still together? Oh, they're not together. 
and your one of your friends moved to Durham and loves going to games. Did did your friend specifically move to Durham to to watch baseball there? Oh, is this the movie where they got together? They were together for a long time. Yeah, Rob, I'm a I'm a big fan. I'm a big fan of the League of Their Own. That's one of my. That's got it. That's up there. And you had no idea he was a baseball fan? Maybe that's what that's what you do if you move to Durham. You become a baseball fan. Wow, he tweets at the team and tweets pictures from his seats all the time? Just really, just all in, huh? I have not seen hardball with Keanu Reeves, Shilo. Maybe that's just the lifestyle, John Samuelson. He's just like, he's like, I turn into baseball guy. Move to Durham, that's what happens. You know, lives in a nice little cottage out there, walks to the ballpark and all that sort of stuff. He wouldn't even go to a Round Rock Express game with you in Austin? Does his girlfriend like baseball? All right, maybe that'll, maybe that'll be a weekend movie for me, G-Lo. I still have to get, uh, I, still have, I still have to watch... 1917. I gotta watch the Joker movie. Nice Dominguez paper for the Yankees. Hardball with Keanu is low key good. Darksider agrees too. What's up, Logan? No, I'm doing Hit Parade three. But no, we're just out, we're out of time for four. I will do that impeccable if that sells out. Kind of got everybody on the impeccable train. Stuper likes uh, sixty one. That was a good one. I don't think I really grasped like how how much like crap like Roger Maris went through. There's Bobby Wood Jr. Nice. Is this the Fawn Marbury movie on there? Is this the Fawn Marbury movie on Netflix? There's just a lot of things to watch. It's Jazz Chisholm to 125. Marlins, Corey. And we've got Jackson Rutledge to, 40, uh, to 499. 
for the Nationals, Corey. And Kevin Durant has a movie too? I could see ba basketball should be a rule. I'm sure someone, I'm sure there's a basketball basketball league out there. Is there not? Or at one point there was. Someone must play it. Almost done with this. so this is the third and final hobby box and then two jumbos and a couple sapphires. Long gone. I have not seen what what is what is that about, Mike? Gotta hold it like an egg. Joe Pizzle, what's going on, Joe P? You love basketball? That's actually a pretty funny move. <laughs> this game's fun, goddammit. About, uh, have you watched, speaking of Netflix documentaries uh, and minor leagues, Battered Bastards of Baseball about the old Portland, I think that's what it's called, I think it's about the old, old Portland baseball uh, independent league team or something like that. I've not seen Brockmire. I heard Brockmire's pretty good. Dominguez Paper. Chris with the Yankees. Uh, no, it does not. Not in, not in this set, Corey. What days do we bring? Seven nights a week. Seven nights a week on Instagram Live at Jaspie's Break. Seven nights a week right here on this YouTube channel. Whatever doesn't fill tonight, we'll do it tomorrow. It doesn't fill the next day, we'll do it the next day. Plenty of time.
a 250 Encarnacion you lollygag around the bases <laughs> Chris Valamont oh, he signed here bunch of lollygaggers Twins, that'll be for Wade and the Twins. Uh, <laughs> Mr. Koki Rasta, hola. Um, Masvidal or Usman? I mean, that's tough. They're, they've, they both both have such such unique qualities as fighters. You know, are you are you gonna take the? Uh, the strength of Masvidal or the or the speed of Usman. There's so many questions that could be asked. I think the fighter with the most heart is pro is most likely going to be the one. You know, to uh, to really show who's the best at the end. You know, I mean that that comes down to whatever whatever it takes. You know. Who has the most heart? Who has who wants it more? So I mean, Masvidal obviously. I mean, obvious reasons. Masvidal has has his reasons for him wanting it more. But I mean, so does Usman, right? He's got he's got that grit. And that determination that comes from his experiences in the octagon. But definitely, my pick for sure is definitely going to be, you know, lock. Guaranteed. Put the house on it. Yeah, spot on analysis, John Samuels. Thank you. I'm sure. I'm sure I'll be doing fight coverage on ESPN pretty soon. My boxing analysis is just as stellar. Watch out, Max Kellerman and other UFC analysts. You no, know, he's a boxing analyst, but watch out, ESPN talking heads. Bobby Wood Jr. paper for the Royals. That will be for Matthew Shira. Just checking out the buzzword, Mark. What are you talking about? That that is insulting. You're insulting my UFC knowledge, man. Woo! Bobby Wood Jr. autograph. Sixty-two out of one hundred. Nice. Matthew Shira and the Royals. And a Dominguez spanning the globe. Can't believe you would think I would just use silly old buzzwords for my my in-depth UFC UFC analysis. 
Yeah, I should have a podcast. Joe Jaspi on the UFC. What up, guys? Joe Jaspi here with the latest UFC 250 whatever update. Fight between that guy and that guy. I mean, that guy has qualities. Everyone knows about his his strength. His his strength is uh his length. Other guy has the weight. You know, one guy has that ground game. One guy wants to stand up. You know, there's that guy and that guy. Now, which guy wants it most? Look at that, Jason Dominguez, speckle to two ninety nine. Yeah, <laughs> one guy has a chip on his shoulder. All right, Chris Welty, another Dominguez. All those Dominguez add up. Uh, FSL, you just you just you just missed my my in depth analysis about the fight. There's a Mason Denberg paper to fifty. Thanks, Mr. Koki Rasta. <laughs> just, I just like the uh, the coach speak. It's just funny. It's like coach speak. Yeah, I'll take a few shots of Jameson before the... I'll, I'll sip on a glass of Jameson throughout the entire break. There's Sam Huff. Texas Rangers going to Ryan S. Where Where is Fight Island? What is Fight Island? It's like near Dubai or something like that. Yeah, I was hoping for like a sand pit and a... Uh, a sand pit... And a octagon made of like bamboo or fence or something like that off the in in the middle of I don't know maybe off the coast of Brazil or something like that. I was hoping for something like that. But what is it? Is it just more of a modern looking island? <laughs> Lots of electricity? Good Wi Fi? Yeah, I was in the show. You were in the show, man? Ooh, Bobby Wood Jr. autograph and a Robert Pawson autograph. His name is Robert Pawson. His name is Robert Pawson. His name is Robert Pawson. 364 out of 499. Refractor autograph for Brandon Metzler and the Oakland A's. What a mixer. What a box. Yeah, that Bobby Wood Jr. was in the same box, was it not? Or was that in the other? I don't know. It, still, great, great box. And you get... You'll get all those papers too. We'll top load those a little bit later. Just trying to save a little bit of time here in this break. There's Wander Franco to 4.99 for the Rays. All right, next jumbo. Yeah, I know. I wish Fight Island. Yeah, Battle Royale, Fortnite mode, something like that. I I just thought I, th I was thinking like Hunger Games. I was thinking like I was just thinking. I knew it was probably going to be more boring, but yeah, alas. 
It's just a, uh, it's just an arena they built. <laughs> did you did you look up Hunter Pence? What did you find, FSL? You found that he's an axe murderer. Let's go Hunger Games. Where, where fighters will volunteer as tribute. Five men and women go in. Only one comes out. Yeah, Lord of the Flies, yeah. I Some sort of battling on an, on an island, grappling for ground, real ground, you know? Building fires and it's just, you know, you know, blowing through conch shells. Julio Rodriguez, 250. We got a Bobby Bradley yellow, gold, yellow maybe? Out of 75. I think gold's out of 50. Cleveland Indians, Matthew Shearer. I'll set a couple of these aside for you, Corey. At least for Louis Roberts. Oh Joey Bar to four ninety nine. Robert Pawson. There's Mario Feliciano out of four ninety nine, Brew Crew. I think that might be a couple more before I Brewers, Jeremy Agno. Well, th I think that's a different one, so I'll send you those two. No, I did not. I've been not watching any inner squad. And actually, that must be on the Dodgers network. I have the Dodgers network. It finally ended up on DirecTV. I think I keep forgetting about it. Because there's Jaron Duran Duran going to Brian. 
the Red Sox because I keep thinking I don't have the Dodgers network, but I do have the Dodgers network. Um, I'm assuming it's on there. But no, what happened? Anything interesting? No one. Hopefully no one got injured. I feel like I don't want to get too... And that, of course, will ship the Luis Robert Chrome. Um, I don't want to get. I don't want to get too into it <laughs> because I get scared that like I'll get into it, get really hyped about it, and then there'll be like nice Nate Pearson atomic to 150, and then they'll cancel it, and then I'll be like, oh. There's Aaron Ashby, Andy's nephew. Brew Crew, another one for Jeremy. Hobbies and Jumbos done. Sapphire time. Sapphire time. Yeah, Tim Robbins does kind of not have a, a great pitching motion. You know, Costner, though, actually played by, I think Kevin Costner might have Might have, uh, did he do college ball maybe? Or maybe was like borderline, could have been drafted, or he was a pretty decent athlete. So he, he, he looks pretty decent throwing the ball. All right, now all these Sapphire cards will be sleeved and top loaded by our shipping crew. See, big name, big name, big name. Autograph, Christian Javier behind him for the Astros is uh, Grant Little. Padres, that'll be for Ryan S. It's a little lopsided in the top loader, but it's safe, it's protected in there. What about in here? Ooh, I don't know. Does he? Kevin Costner own a restaurant in Old Town Pass. I feel, I feel I vaguely remember him owning something like that. But I don't know. I don't know what Kevin Costner is doing right now. Oh, he's in that show Yellowstone, which apparently is a big hit. On the Paramount Network, which I don't have, I don't think. So maybe he's out. No, no, he's probably not doing anything. I don't think they're filming that show right now. Anyway. There's a Robert Pawson right there. Kevin Cogger never played with heat in high school, he must have. Oh, so I, I thought he advanced past like the high school level. Right, 
Is that the autograph? Is that kind of early for the auto? Bobby Wood Jr., nice. Royals, Matthew Shira. All right, well, I stand corrected. It's Bobby Wood Jr. Did he go to Cal State Fullerton? Actually, a pretty big baseball school. There's Robert Pawson. Oakland A's, Brandon Metzler. And Helio Ramos, big Giants prospect, four out of fifteen, for also for Brandon Metzler and the Gigantes. All right, he got he got randomized the Bay Area teams. There you go. And the autograph is going to be for the Brewers, Adam Hill, 7 out of 25. Nice color on that auto. Going to, I feel like Brewers had a decent break. Uh, going to Jeremy Agno. There you go, Jeremy. And there you go, ladies and gents. That was the 7 Box 2020 Bowman Baseball Mixer Random Team number 3. I think we might be able to run one back. Or do, do we run out of sapphire boxes? I don't know. We'll figure it out. Keep an eye on the website, jazbeescasebreaks.com. I'm Joe, and I'll break with you next time. Bye-bye.